welcome to Are You Paying Attention? Hello. I'm Sarah. And I'm David. And we're here to talk about Survivor. Survivor time! Yeah, there's a new episode. Well, this episode was just cray cray. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck happened? Oh my gosh, the end was so insane. All right, we'll get there. Yeah. So we start out getting to know the tribes a little bit more. Yep. Debbie is her usual cuckoo crazy self on the Brains tribe, talking yep. about, I have 20 years of experience monitoring water. I don't know this why this that. girl needs clean boiled water. I'm fine. Blah, right? Because our quantum physics girl is like freaking out about her boiling her yeah. water. And then, could you believe it when Debbie was like, oh, and I personal train people, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what other job? Add are you another job have? to her list. Oh my gosh, she must have <laughs> the best resume of all time. And then Joe also was a problem. Well, yeah, I mean, they, those two are definitely together, uh -huh. and it's still like the other four are against them. Yeah. But Joe, I mean, I was sticking up for you last week, Joe, and then this week you <laughs> made the kerosene leak and you got the matches wet. Yeah. What are you doing? They're both sort of targets on the Brains tribe, but. As we'll see later, yeah. they don't really have anything to worry about right now. Right. Then in the beauty tribe... A bromance! A bromance is blooming between Caleb and Ty. Uh, two of our favorite people. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I couldn't be happier about this bromance. Yeah. They're adorable. They really are. And then when Ty tried to go in for the kiss... Uh huh. <laughs> I was like, oh, you little sneaky and guy. And then uh, to camera, he was like, oh, I was going yeah, to like it. Yeah, right. And he was like, no, I just wanted to bite it. And then he was like, I was definitely going in for that kiss. Although, be before they really got into the bromance thing, he was making me so nervous going after that idol. I know. So he did find a clue. But then it was like it was up, crazy. It was up a tree, and it was like in these, and they were all like in the water. Like he shouldn't have been gone. Yeah. And then he starts to try to climb this tree, and his feet and his, were bleeding. And his hands and his chest, everything's I bleeding. Was like, Ty, just calm down, take a breath. Yeah. I mean, initially I was like, this is tailor made for Ty because he loves to climb trees. Right. Right. Until but, you see how far it was oh, up there, and just watching his feet slide down that Ooh. tree trunk, it was ugh, hard Ooh. to watch. Ooh. I mean, I'm glad he has that clue because I want Ty to stick around. So I hope he gets that. Idea. Idol. We'll see if he gets the idol. Yeah, he doesn't have it yet. Yeah. yeah. On the bronze team, they had come back from tribal, so they're missing someone, and Alicia's so grateful that they kept her, and she was just trying so hard to make up for things. Yeah. She spent like five hours trying to make fire, and she did. She eventually she did. She did. Yeah. Which I feel like was a smart move. Like, yeah. you are on the bottom. Yeah. Do something to prove, like, I'm here for this team, I'm gonna work hard. Right. So she just was there with that flint over and over. That I would have driven myself crazy doing that, but she got it. I guess God she learned her, her lesson because she really didn't do anything at first. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see her try to make an effort. Yeah, and everyone was sort of like, oh, look at Alicia, like, trying mm -hmm. and trying. She knows she's on the bottom. She's really trying right. for that fire. Right. But then thank God she finally got it. And those two big guys are still sort of like the big guys on campus kind right. of yeah. vibe. Yeah. Then we go play a challenge. Yeah. So this is pretty much just a physical pretty challenge. Much. There's no puzzle or anything. They have to untie this huge, like, 300-pound log, carry it as a team through the ocean, through an obstacle course, and then there's like a slingshot element, and they have to knock down some targets. Everyone struggles at some point. Yeah, and they it's all sort of this sort like, of... one team is leading, yeah. and then another team is leading. It's back and forth. They all sort of get to the slingshot around the same time. Braun throws first, though, and Scott misses. Yeah. Then Caleb. Yeah, and Caleb okay. killed it. I'm sorry, Caleb. It's mm. amazing. Mm. And did you see him running through the water? Yes. He was he doing was like... like High knee. Like walking on water. In pretty much. jeans. I'm like, do you not Beast have mode. shorts? Beast mode cowboy. Yeah, oh my god. And I love his belt buckle too. BMC. Yeah. Beast mode cowboy. I keep waiting to see if that's going to survive. <laughs> yeah. When that's going to fall apart. <laughs> yeah. Beauty wins. They end up winning. Mm -hmm. I don't think that Caleb missed any. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> brings the ER doctor. He, I think he might have missed one, but yes. then he was, they were second place. Uh -huh. Braun just couldn't, got missed like twice, I think. Yeah, so they went to tribal council again. Oh my gosh, I honestly did not want to see that. I don't want to see one tribe just like fall apart from the get-go. Yeah, it's not fun to watch yeah. after a certain point. And, and it, it sounds like the way the Brains tribe was the last time they did this. Yeah. Like the three tribe, tribe situation. Fell apart they were like one of the right. worst tribes in survivor history, and this team and now, seems headed down that path, it seems especially like with the decisions they're making at tribal council. Uh huh. What are we using? Our brains or our muscles? Yeah, seriously. Okay, people. They go back to camp after the challenge, right? And of course, it's obviously assumed, Alicia. Yeah. She barely made it the week before, right? 
she's on the bottom. She's an obvious target. They're all sort of like, yeah, yeah, everybody in agreement? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jennifer, mm -hmm. who I adore, the construction mm -hmm. worker, I mean, she's yeah. a good competitor, yeah. but she also seemed like she was fairly level-headed. Yep. Until we learned she has what she calls low impulse control. Oh, right. And I was like, what's this? Do I have this? Yeah. What's this? <laughs> But she said, it's like, I see a shiny object and I go there, which I don't have. She's like, yeah, get a leash out. But then she's like, oh, what else can we do? Right. So she's concocting this new plan of an all girls alliance in her head. So she's thinking, I'm going to go to Alicia. I'm going to tell her, like, let's vote out Jason or Scott. We'll pull in Cindy and we'll just be all girls and we'll get one of the guys out. And she kind of was starting to be annoyed by Jason. And yes. so I think that, that was like the propeller for it. Right. It was like, she was like, I don't like him. Let's get him out. Yeah. And she was like, Alicia, as much as you annoy me, I like you. <laughs> So I want to keep you around and get this guy out because he's like really grating on my last nerve. So they talk about it. Alicia's like, of course, yeah, that sounds amazing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. And the other girl's on board too. Well, Sydney just seems to roll with it. She does. She seems to be on board with just about anything. Yeah. She is not willing to rock the boat, at least yet. Right. We'll see if she mm -hmm. ever does. Scott and Jason see the girls talking. Yep. And they're like, eh, let's check. So Scott talks to Jennifer and then Jennifer sees that shiny thing. And she's yep. like, oh, wait, maybe I jumped the gun. Yeah, because she's like, you know, I'm just trying to betray Jason, but I'm realizing and then I'm also going to betray Scott in the process. And, and I don't want to do that. apparently feels connected to Scott. Yeah. Although no one seems to care that Scott totally missed. Yeah. He pulled a Darnell. Uh, yes. And he lost the he challenge lost the for challenge them. He lost the challenge for but them. But he's not a target. Never once came up. Yeah. Whatever. So they go to tribal council. Mm -hmm. And Jeff Probst, he's got a lot of questions, that guy. He trips you up a little bit. He trips <laughs> you up. He really tripped Jennifer up. Because he <laughs> said, you know, some question to the effect of like, is it clear? Do we have a clear target is it is it certain who's going home and jennifer's like oh it's kind of up in the air i don't know why Jeff. jennifer why why did you say that why i get that in these tribals you often are honest and you let it all out yeah but when there's something that you're doing that is sneaking around other people's backs yeah i just don't think it's that smart uh -uh. and she acted like cool let's just let it all out and she just said yeah i don't know we were discussing different things Record scratch. Oh. Scott and Jason are like, uh, come again? Boom, yeah. yeah. So then Scott is like, well, I don't know what He's to like, think. What are you now. talking about? Like, yeah. What is up in the air about this? Why don't you explain? Yeah, so they like start to hash it out and she's she's backtracking and she's like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. And Alicia's like, uh uh, wait a minute. This was all your idea. <laughs> Alicia was actually brilliant in yeah. that moment. Mm -hmm. She was like, no, this was all her idea. Yep. And Jennifer's like, she's stuck there being yep. like, you're lying. Yeah. And then she looks guilty. Alicia was like, who was your recommendation? And then she was caught and she was like, yeah. well, Jason. And Jason's like, oh, well, that's yeah. gonna fly. Yeah. I can't believe how that deteriorated oh so quickly. Oh my gosh. Like, and Jennifer really, I mean, she did her level best. She stood up on that did. stump. She was like, I am here for the team. Please don't send me home. But oh it just my was God. not enough. And she was voted out. She was. And I, I mean, honestly, I didn't know if they were going to turn or not. I didn't either. Turn or not. Yeah, but they did. They turned but so they fast. But they did. And I have to say, that is a typical Braun move. And it is. And this Braun team, I mean, I'm shocked they're losing challenges, but I can't believe how dumb their decisions yes. have been. Voting out Darnell, dumb. Yes, dumb. Voting, voting out Jennifer. Jennifer. Dumb. Basically anything at this point other than voting out Alicia is dumb yeah. because all they need to do is win a challenge so they don't go to tribal right. and Alicia's doing nothing to help you win challenges. I just at this point I can't imagine them winning a challenge next no. week. I feel like they're doomed. They're doomed. Even with people sitting out on the other teams they have a very obvious weak link Yeah. and they just aren't cohesive at all. Right. Just big guys who aren't thinking. I yeah. Mean, that's just not going to get you very far. And Cindy, far. who just seems to... I mean, I guess the good thing about Sydney is she's kind of flying under the oh, radar. Sydney, I've been saying Cindy. Whatever. No, Sydney. Okay, that girl. She's got a name. The professional bodybuilder. <laughs> yes. She's been flying under the radar. I feel like, I mean, again, they're making such stupid decisions. Who knows? Yeah. But, like, I feel like she might escape until the merge mm -hmm. if this team just keeps attacking each other. Ugh, but who knows with this team? Yeah, right? who knows? I couldn't believe it. Yeah, so Jennifer's gone now. I liked her, but somebody's right? gotta go. So for this episode, uh -huh. what is our brawniest moment, David? Our brawniest moment goes to Ty on the beauty team, but climbing that palm tree, sliding down it barefoot, bare-chested, 
just scraping everything, bleeding, trying to get that he idol. He was so focused on that idol yes. and his time limit, and he was just like, it was a palm tree, you guys. It's like this. Yeah. It's not like one with limbs. Oh my gosh. And he was like, still probably a good like six feet away from the key that he needed to grab. But he was also but he was like 10 high, feet off the yeah. ground. How high was he where it was like becoming dangerous? Like yeah. he fell, like he was going yeah. to be seriously injured. Yeah. He didn't get it, but that was a dang brawny yeah. moment. Yeah, and I can't, I can't think of anybody else on the show at this point who could do that. Right? Man, he knows how to climb a tree. So I think our beautiful moment mm -hmm. is the beautiful romance between our two favorites. Why do I have a suspicion that Ty is going to be involved somehow in our most beautiful moment every week because we love him we so much. We have a running theme, don't we? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that bromance was just so great to see those guys, you know, joke around and mm. Ty flirt with Caleb and Caleb not be put off by that. And yeah. even the other uh, people in the tribe were yeah. like, I don't get it. They're opposites, <laughs> yeah. but like they love each other. It works. And then our brainiest moment. Well, I think we're going to have to go with Alicia, right? for our brainiest moment. Yeah, there weren't a lot of smart moments in this episode. Yeah, but she just had the right words yeah. at the right time at Tribal Council yep. to really flip her team on Jennifer and save herself. She was about to go home. Yeah. And she had the right words. She like spoke at the right time and then she mm -hmm. didn't speak at the yep. right time. She yep. sort of let Jennifer dig her own grave right. when she needed to. And right. so that was really good strategy at Tribal Council. Yep. Saved herself at the last minute. Woo! Another crazy week of Survivor. So, is this Braun team just going to ruin it for themselves? I think so. We think so. What do you guys <laughs> yeah, do think? You think? Tell us what you think was the brainiest and the brawniest and the most beautiful mm. moment. And click subscribe because we'll be back next week to do another recap. Yes, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.